Yo, what's going on? Instagram live. I'll stand up for a bit. About to go live for a bit, maybe five, ten minutes. And I titled this, What's Your Belief System? Man, if you just realize that all day, the only thing you're dealing with is your mind and the thoughts that you are continuously running the program on, you'll realize that a lot of the inhibitions in your life, a lot of the barriers are coming from the wrong beliefs. And so let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what our belief systems are and let's bring some awareness because the more we talk about it, the more we put language around it, the more awareness that happens, our consciousness begins to grow. You see, when you talk about things that you don't know, when you talk about or use language and words that you've never really discovered, your mind starts to expand, consciousness grows. And so part of, uh, you know, everybody's dealing with a, a set of a belief system in every arena of their life. And a lot of the beliefs that people cling on to are the ones that have ensured survival. You see, if let's say, for example, someone grew up in a household where, you know, it was of distress, the little kid was being beaten, and let's just put a worst case scenario, right? That little kid who grew up in those environments is going to have a belief system, a set of ideas, a set of beliefs. Maybe his belief system is to put bread under his bed because they didn't feed him. And he thinks that by putting bread and hiding it is going to keep him, uh, keep him fed. See, we have all these beliefs in our mind about so many subjects, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's our, even our own perception of self, you know? What's our belief system in regards to ourself? How do we think about us? How do you think about you? In every arena of life, because all you're ever dealing with is your state of mind. That's all that's ever going on. What if, what if you just made a few tweaks in a few of the arenas of your life where there's suffering? What if you're going through some financial problems? Can you identify any thought or any belief in your mind that is either invalidating you when it comes to the subject of money, or let's say in relationships, let's say you've been in many relationships and they just don't seem to be working out. You're in relationship after relationship. What's your belief system when it comes to relationships? Maybe you grew up without a father and you grew up with a mother and you know, you're, you're, you're sort of clingy when it comes to women, when it, when it comes to your relationships. That's a set of beliefs, a set of ideas that are giving you the experiences. One of the most pro profound thoughts that you know, I use in my life is, mankind is a slave to habits. If you understand that all that we're ever operating under are patterns, our life is nothing but a pattern. There's a thing called pattern interrupt. When you start to do things that are out of your normal cycle of life. So what are your patterns? Identify what's your, uh, your living condition. Identify what your patterns of life are. Let's say, for example, you're someone who, again, goes, let's go to money, right? Because it's an easy topic to talk about. Let's say you make some money and your, your instinct gut is to go and spend the money on shit that doesn't bring you value, that's a belief system that you're operating under. Now, what if you wanna change that? How do you change that? Well, you adopt new ideas, new perspectives when it comes to the fields in your life that you want to improve. What about relationships? The same thing, man. All we're ever dealing with is our mind and our ideas about this life that we live. It's, all, it's a mental universe. If you don't believe me, read the Kabbalion. The Kabbalion, it's one of the seven alchemy laws that all is mind, all is the state of mind. So when you understand that you live in a world of ideas, you can now look into your life. You can now look into your ideas. Maybe you have ideas about yourself that you're not good enough, that you're not deserving of, let's say, a million dollars, or you're not deserving of quality relationships, that you're not deserving of living a fulfilling life. Some people really believe that. People believe that they can't lose weight or that they can't get up in the morning and be energetic and, and full of life. 
That's your belief system. But see, what if you can just change a few ideas throughout your day, a few ideas about self, so that when you go to the arena of life, when you show up to the arena of life, what if you came into your life with an enthusiasm, an excitement, a celebration of life? Is that possible? Is it possible for you to wake up each and every day excited to say, hey, you know what? One day I recognize that this life is nothing more than time expiring. And the more I can truly bask in the sweet ecstasy of life, the more I can start to live this motherfucker all the way through. No more hindering my potential, no more hindering my growth. You see, every day you're just talking to your mind, you're talking to yourself, listen to that little voice inside. What is it saying? What is the program in that mind? You see, when you start to develop new habits and new patterns, you start to reprogram, recondition the mind. For example, if let's say someone, let's say for example, someone has never ran in their life and then they say, hey, I'm gonna start running uh, fucking three miles every day for 100 days straight. And they do it. The minute they do it and add action to it, they've reprogrammed the structure, their neurology, when it comes to that activity. The same thing is true with uh, money. Let's say someone who's been poor their whole life and they have a, a poor belief system when it comes to money. Maybe it was passed along from their parents. It was passed along from their ancestors, whatever, right? Once you now break that threshold, that resistance of making that money, now you've re rewired your neurology when it comes to that field of money or whatever it is, relationships. Look at your life. Where are you suffering? Where are you suffering? Is it confidence? Is it confidence when it comes to, if you're a man, when it comes to talking to women? I, I know men struggle with that. Men struggle with talking to women and building quality relationships. But all you're ever dealing with is a state of mind, a set of beliefs. Maybe in your past you were invalidated by women. You were made feel less. I know I was. And so I made it my life's mission to understand what the fuck is going on in this game of life. Right? Like what's really going on though? You see, I've made, mo I've made money. I've been in real estate for over four years. I've made money. I've been broke. I've been, I've been in that pattern and I've seen the pattern. All right? But I noticed that there was an underlying thing that was going on and everybody's trying to escape it. Everybody's trying to, let's say for example, every guy that's trying to make money right now is really doing it for a better quality of relationships for women. That's all that's going on. We're all trying to relate, right? If you're a woman, you, you become more beautiful. You, you try to build up your replication value so that a man of quality likes you. If you're a man, you build your physique, you build your state of mind, you create a life, you work on your business, you find your purpose, what? To attract women. All this game ever is, is attraction. It's one of the huge, huge pillars of life, man. Everybody wants to avoid it. Everybody wants to pretend like it's not happening. But the truth is, is that all that's ever going on is how do man and how do man and woman relate? How do we communicate to our counterpart? How do we become more proficient in this field of relationships, in this field of business, in this field of communication, in this field of confidence, of uh, self-analysis, of understanding the mind, of understanding how to use words in a way that creates the conditions in our life? You see, I'm giving concepts right now. I'm being very vague. But if you're more interested in these ideas and my application of life, then reach out to me. I got all kinds of cool shit going on right now so i like to jump on here chime on in and share my mind and share my ideas and you know stay in, stay atop with my with my people on ig i see some good people in here but i'm gonna end it on this one i'm gonna keep it short and sweet and to the point and i'll see you guys on the next one salute